Hello, I wanted to give a quick update regarding the uh, ARM connected up to ROM uh, video that I uploaded the other day. Um, since uploading the video I've realised that there was actually a problem with the circuit that I made and it wasn't actually working correctly, so let's have a quick look at why that was. If I turn it on, you can see the uh, clock is ticking backwards and forwards here. I've moved a few things around here but it's essentially the same circuit. Uh, the, the LED on the left is phase 2 and the LED on the right is phase 1. And if you remember that phase 1 is currently connected via this yellow wire uh, to the latch over here and then via the white wire to the address latch enable pin. And the idea is that when the red LED on the right is on, i.e. we're in phase 1 of the clock, in that state the CPU is allowed to change what's on the address bus. But when that LED is off, the CPU is not meant to be changing what's on the address bus. So what I'm expecting is that when the address change happens, which is generally during phase 2, um, I'm expecting to not see that on the address bus until that right-hand LED comes on, at which point the address should snap to the new address that the CPU has been wanting to output. But if you look closely at what's going on here, you'll see exactly the opposite's happening. The address change is coming when phase 2 starts, rather than when phase 1 starts. And if you refer back to the timing diagrams in the last video, you'll see that that's a, that's a really bad time for it, because if we're in the middle of writing to RAM, for example, that's really not going to work, um, because it means that the, the RAM write will actually start with one address and then change to another halfway through. So, something's wrong there, and I was scratching my head trying to work out what it could be. And nothing really stood out, apart from the fact that it is pretty clear in the datasheet that this CPU requires a strictly non-overlapping clock. The minimum time between phase 1 and phase 2 is quoted as 0, uh, so that's not very helpful. They're not being, they're not being specific about how non-overlapping it should be. But the datasheet actually shows uh, a recommended circuit for achieving this two-phase clock that I hadn't spotted at first. I didn't notice until I put that uh, screenshot of, of the description in the datasheet into that first video and I saw that it said look at the next page for the circuit diagram um, and it's a very simple circuit it's basically an SR latch made out of NOR gates and uh, what I've done is I have put in a NOR, a quad NOR chip here and I've, rig I've rigged them up into the correct configuration so along the top line of the chip uh, there are two NOR gates and each one feeds its output into the other one. And that red line going up from the right hand side from pin 8 is uh, going to the clock signal. It's actually going to the uh, output of the D flip flop. And then the orange wires take that down to the bottom half of the chip and invert it and send it back up into the other NOR gate. So this, com this configuration of two cross connected NOR gates is a fairly standard way of making an SR latch. And uh, it's, it's kind of their recommendation is that you, you, you build an SR latch and then you can connect sets to your clock signal, for example, your input clock, and then you connect resets to the inverted version of your input clock. And if you think that through, it does guarantee that they will never be on at the same time. There's always at least one gate delay between uh, one phase going off and the other one coming on. So that's what I've built up here. And uh, you'll see that, note again what's happening with the LEDs here, the address is currently changing at the start of phase two, i.e. the left LED. So if I turn the power off, and then I just quickly take these wires out of where they were, and if I connect these over to the outputs of the NOR gate instead, these are now connected to the outputs from this NOR gate. And that's now feeding the clock. Uh, the D flip-flop's still there, it's still got the 555 giving it input, uh, because the NOR gate, as you can see from this red wire, is actually being driven by the well, the data and the inverted output pin of the D flip flop. So, the D flip flop is still actually being used here, and what it's being used for is to even out the clock signal. Anyway, if I turn the power on now, you'll see the circuit behaves much as it did before. But if you look closely, you'll now see that the address is changing on the phase one when when phase one starts when the right hand LED lights which is exactly what we want. So it does look like the reason for that aberrant behaviour was that the clocks I was sending in were not uh, 
we're not non-overlapping enough. And yeah, I thought that the D flip-flops output and inverted output would be at least, I, I don't know about guaranteed to not overlap, um, but I thought they'd be non-overlapping enough, but apparently not. So I'm going to use this NOR-based circuit from now on. So what I can also do is what I've done here, which is I've wired the uh, clock input to the NOR gates to the output of the 555 timer at the end of this blue wire. So this is what's going to happen if I just take the D flip flop out completely. If I turn that on now, you can see it's running at about twice the rate it was before and it's not got an even duty cycle, but it works pretty well. If I just see if I can slow this down. Too, too much, uh, a bit faster, come on. You can see it's a very uneven duty cycle. It's spending lots of time on phase one and not much time on phase two. The CPU doesn't care, it carries on fine. So I don't think there's a problem with this. Um, and obviously I can speed that up and up and up. And it seems to work fine. So I might just take out the D flip-flop completely and wire the 555 into this NOR circuit. Anyway, hope that little update was interesting. Um, yeah, it's the kinds of things that can go wrong, the kind of thing maybe to look out for to try and fix them.